in the in the news, uh, and this is probably something we need to address. Uh, Gulf Power is being sued right. uh, by an env environmental group. Um, part of that group being Apalachicola Riverkeeper for some supposed uh, dumping of toxic waste by right. Gulf Power on the Apalachicola. Uh, you've been reading about that, I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and 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 as we've talked to Gulf Power and we've talked to the department, uh, the Department of Environmental Protection (DEP) out of Tallahassee. Uh, look, they have followed, from my understanding, they followed uh, their monitoring monitoring practices uh, in a very sound and safe way. Uh, they monitor and do their testing uh, upstream. They do those testing, same testings downstream. Uh, most recently in February, we understand that uh, Gulf Power and DEP went out together. Uh, and anytime DEP does a test, those are public. Uh, and so people can see those. And it's my understanding that there were no dangerous levels. There were no uh, levels of arsenic. There were no, from, from what I'm understanding, uh, and that um, uh, they've made the decision obviously to shut down the plant uh, so the plant is going away I think though that we what we see by so many of the environmental groups around the country this is this is their uh, their mo uh, they literally this is why they exist uh, they find a, a, an organization a company like Gulf Power and the Southern Company um, and and they follow through with really the president's edicts of going after coal and coal-powered plants uh, because the president was very clear we will shut you down down. We will put you out of business. Now, the problem there is that who's going to suffer because of that? Uh, it's the citizens. Uh, when we don't have electricity or we have brownouts or even worse, you know, blackouts. Um, uh, so the world that, that, that some of these individuals live in or think they want us to live in uh, is not connected to reality. Uh, and it's certainly not common sense. So I think that companies should have to monitor. I think they should have to do the environmental testing. And I think they, they have done that to make sure that our water is safe and, and uh, uh, that there are no pollutants that are, are there that are going to create dangers for for, for citizens and and uh, uh, and even cattle and and uh, livestock, so I I, I I think that they've done that. Uh, we'll see as this goes forward. But frivolous lawsuits are the mo of most environmental organizations, and I think that Gulf Power is uh, right now um, uh, the brunt of that. And we find ourselves in an interesting situation. We do some work for Gulf Power. We do some work and have a great relationship with Apalachicola yeah. Riverkeeper. Yeah. And I, I just hope that the public is is the one that's going to lose because of this, uh, only because they, yeah. they, it, it built up distrust for these organizations. Yeah, and let me say this. The Riverkeepers are not the only organization that's in the lawsuit. Uh, there are several others uh, from uh, that don't really have a local presence. Uh, people coming in here from other parts of the country. Imagine that, coming in here from other parts of the country to stick their nose in our business. Uh, but the river keepers, uh, look, we've worked with both Commerce uh, in Apalachicola as well as the river keepers in Apalachicola uh, to really fight um, uh, the 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 the, uh, the federal government uh, and the Corps of Engineers on the water flow uh, down the ACF and most particular uh, the Apalachicola uh, because of the reduction of water flow in Georgia and, and the devastating impact that's having on the oyster crops and and uh, the, the the economy in Apalachicola and Franklin County at large. So the river keepers have have, have obviously worked with us on that. Um, uh, I just think on this, I think you know if 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 Gulf Power has the facts and has the data and the DEP has done the test, then I think that river keepers in this particular instance are just wrong. Well, and Gulf Power doing something like this purposefully uh, is akin to a prize fighter taking performance enhancing drugs, knowing he's going to get tested, knowing oh, he's going to yeah. be have a big yeah. target painted yeah. on him. But 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 clearly, you know, if, if you have uh, if you have large organizations like this, they have a, a lot to lose, uh, not as much to gain. Uh, and I think that uh, they should have to do the testing. They should have to make sure they run a transparency in those tests. Uh, and so uh, I, I trust that um, that this will find resolve. Uh, but ultimately, I hope that the resolve does not um, result uh, in higher uh, uh, electrical uh, bills for the people of Florida's second congressional district. Well, it probably will once the attorneys start getting paid. Well, that's talk, what frivolous lawsuits do. You talk about people coming from out of town this last Christmas season. We experienced mm -hmm. the Freedom From Religion group coming in and demanding that Chipley take the manger scene down from the local city hall. Um, it, after a while, it gets pretty tiring. It does. It's insanity. Uh, I think that uh, uh, look, I, I think I think America's uh, history uh, is pretty clear. Uh, you come to Washington D.C., I will show you uh, etched in the stone and etched in the glass.
glass and, and cast in the bronze and uh, uh, the fact about our history. And the thing is, is, is I know the people of Washington County uh, and, and Jackson County and Bay County, I, look, I, our family's been here so long, I know that, that, that they understand history. Uh, and so, look, our, 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 our founding fathers did not say, uh, you know, it, it, we have freedom, you know, freedom of religion, but not freedom against religion or freedom, you know, from religion. And so I find that, um, uh, but look, this is, this is these individuals' religion. Uh, this is this is what they drive on, uh, and I find that presidents all down through the course of history have been very clear on what America should do, both Democrats and Republicans, on what America should do in regards to their faith in God and the God of the Bible, uh, and, and when America has known its greatest prosperity, uh, it has acted in a way that has been harmonious uh, with those beliefs. Uh, and so, you know, I, I find that, uh, again, uh, just an example of, of, of magnitude maddening uh, in the select few uh, dictating a new culture uh, for 308 million Americans. Uh, and I, it, it, is, it is aggravating, and I'm sure it's been aggravating for you guys here.